Good afternoon. My name is Nina. I'm a first year biology pre-med major from Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, good afternoon. My name is Colby Greer. I am a first year biochemistry pre-med major from Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, my name is Brevin Belfield. I'm a second year biology pre-med major from Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, my name is Maryam Abba. I'm a first year biology from Bowie, Maryland. And we conducted a study on the temperature change effects of birds of prey on biodiversity. So we conducted a study on Grandfather Mountain, North Carolina, to observe the effects climate change has on hawk migration patterns. Using a series of st statistical data to achieve these objectives, we, hypo we hypothesized that temperatures will affect the biodiversity of the area. Before starting our research, we believe that climate change will cause advanced migration practices in hawks in Grandfather Mountain, North Carolina. Our predictions include the hawks will tend, will tend to migrate to closer areas at earlier times and climate change causes advanced warmer temperature change, changing the biennial cycle as shown in the European pea flycatchers. From previous knowledge, we are aware that climate change has impacted the flight patterns and hibernation of other birds and animals. The general concept being studied is to analyze whether climate change has a positive or neg negative correlation to the migration of species within our data. data. Our research question is, for this, study, for this study, we ask the question, do fluctuations in temperature affect biodiversity in Grandfather Mountain, North Carolina? Moving on to our methods, Miriam's gonna take it on from here. So for our methods, we use simple sampling, which is where we take a subset of individuals chosen randomly such that each individual has the same probability. We went with the one because we went with that one because it was more effective and it's the use of cluster. Cluster sampling and stratified sampling can reduce the travel time. We use different methods and outlines to explain the difference in the temperatures and the quantity of birds moved as we assembled the data. We aim to get the estimated population size and detect the different scenarios of the population change. For our results, from August to um, October, we've looked at all the months in our data, data collection. Um, the month of September showed the greatest abundance of hawk species. We use different charts and graphs to determine the factors that cause biodiversity to fluctuate, that fluctuated throughout the different months. We can see in, we can see the richness and abundance of each month by looking um, at figure one below. This allowed us to figure out which month showed more biodiversity. To connect our analysis to what we have already learned in biology and previous classes and studies, the following assessments have been made. All the species studied migrated around Grandfather Mountain, excluding a few that were not native to the area. Birds of prey include species of birds that, are, that hunt and feed on vertebrates, and the migration patterns are dependent on the temperature, wind patterns, and precipitation of each day. In previous figures, we found that there is a positive correlation between the average daily temperature and birds of prey abundance. This explains why the lower the temperature, the less birds were observed. In figure three, we found that September had the highest diversity and in October, there was some higher temperatures. These can be assumed that with the higher temperatures, um, there were more hawks migrating towards this area. The more observed species in the area, the most observed species in the area was the osprey. Um, offspring. Um, this was because the bird was native to the area. Um, from the birds of prey that were not observed in this area, it can be assumed that they were not native to Grandfather Mountain and its surrounding area. Our hypothesis was correct. Temperatures, fluctuation in temperatures do affect the biodiversity in the area. For future work, um, we suggest that people who continue this work should um, observe the temperatures for the entire year. Um, this would help eventually solve the question if climate change affects biodiversity um, and migration patterns. Thank you. Our gratitude goes out to the Hawk Migration Association of North Amer America's Raptor Migration database, database for providing us with our data. Also like to thank Dr. Da Dr. Sean Dash for giving collective feedback on our research. 
And that's it. Cool. Thank you.